my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, hello, Oxide. Hello, good afternoon. Oh my god, hello. Hello, hello, hello. For those of you who don't know, my name is Cinna Bombay. I'm a cinnamon roll bear DIY extraordinaire. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own fumo. So, who likes fumos? Anyone like fumos? <laughs> good, good, good. Oh my goodness. Let me reset real quick. All this stuff. I'm indie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> if there's any typos, no, there's not. You can't see it. Um, and for today, and maybe not today only, you guys will be referred to as builder bears. So if that's a problem, I, I don't know. Get over it. Uh, <laughs> okay. So first things first, what are fumos? So they originate in Japan, just like, you know, Pretty much everything that you've been seeing this whole weekend in Japan originating. <laughs> Manufactured by the Japanese company Gift. Gift almost exclusively with the exception of a few limited character projects like Vocaloid. Uh, manufactures Tuhu characters which are designed by the company Royal Cat aka okay, Angel Cat. That's what they used to be called. They do extremely, extremely, extremely limited releases only twice a year and it is extremely hard to source an actual real life FUMO from the company gift. If you're wanting to purchase outside of Japan, um, you know, <laughs> good luck. Uh, you have to wait on the hope of being able to get a release through Ami Ami and um, also double good luck. <laughs> uh, browsing their catalog seems slightly easier, but the whole waiting, waiting, waiting and hoping that it goes through, yeah, not so much. There are an entire guide on how to order from GIFT as a non-JP consumer, and even then, it's not foolproof, even slightly. So that brings me to non-GIFT FUMOs. Um, I'm sure you recognize two of these FUMOs for sure. Well, hopefully all four, actually. <laughs> but I'm sure you've been seeing two of these FUMOs all around the convention. Uh, due to the scarcity of both new releases and non tuhu designs, people have began to commission and hand make their own fumos. There are people who specialize in making handmade fumo plushes and major merch stores who still partner with creators to release their own designs like Biyoshi. Uh But Sina, those aren't real fumos. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, haha, they look cute. They look enough. Uh, cry about it. I don't know. <laughs> Much like Jinya Ota, aka Boon, the creator of Tuhu, an inspiration behind Fumo, making things yourself is good. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so that brings us to the subject of today. You want to DIY a Fumo. This is the convention and I am the DIY bear, so we're gonna make one naturally naturally so stick around for a step-by-step -step process on how to go about making your very own fumo plushie and uh you know hopefully you'll learn a little bit and you know not straight out of your head and onto the flight <laughs> so supplies you're gonna need quite a bit of supplies but luckily everything is pretty pretty inexpensive it's a really uh kind of cheap craft to do surprisingly so the fabric on many guides will say felt, no, <laughs> just no. Uh, what you're looking for instead is to find thin fleece, toy knit, or doll skin. You can order those online. Me personally, um, I went and just found thin fleece that had a plush side and a smooth side um, because I can't wait. I'm an American. I need my immediate gratification right now. So one and a half yards of skin tone fabric, a yard each for hair and any clothing items that you want, and one very small bag of polyfill stuffing, which all of your guides will not tell you to get some stuffing, and then you'll have a very, very, very flat doll, like extremely flat, like run over flat. Black embroidery thread, one to two skeins. What are skeins? It's just one little ball. <laughs> White embroidery thread, 
doll needles or something super sturdy to pierce through, um, through felt. And then insert color of choice, embroidery thread one skein for whatever your character's eye color is. And then um, I used a sewing machine. I actually learned how to use an entire sewing machine in like the span of a week to try and make this, which was, oh my God, what the heck? <laughs> But uh, you can also hand sew this, but um, you know, that's gonna take a really, really, really long time, uh, especially if you're not great at hand sewing or extremely grandma slow like me, so I used a machine. <laughs> you will want to source a pattern and have a really solid reference for the design you're making, which is why I drew mine out of exactly what I wanted included. And then um, I'm using one right off of the Fumo Guide site by a guy named Goop. So, Really simple, very straightforward to go through. Uh, make sure you have a printer that can print out large formats so you can get the exact size for the cutouts that you want for your fabric. Next are the supplies. Also, yeah, that's me making it and um, uh, my eyes all gone on the background, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it is quite a lot. I'm just reminding myself to remind you that you need stuffing as well. Um, the cutout process is probably going to be your absolute longest part of the project, uh, and it is quite tedious working with an entire yard of fabric. You think, oh, it's just a yard, and then you realize when you go to Joanne, they give you a yard by a yard, and like, oh my god, that is a lot on a tiny desk, wow. And you're cutting, and you're cutting, and you're cutting, and you're going to be really good with an exacto knife by the end of this if you aren't already, and I was not, um, but I am now really, really good at it. <laughs> Then, yep, it's the cutting. It's not very labor intensive per se. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cutting. Um, I loved it the first time. I had cut like the real dimensions and then realized that the head would be so ridiculously large that it would just like not even be cute anymore. It's just like, what am I looking at, Senna? So um, I had to then recut out each and every page. It was it was a lot of trial and error. So, you know, don't do what I do. Do it right the first time. I messed up so you can learn from my mistakes. You know, I did it good for you. <laughs> so all of the pieces are like super straightforward too. So all of your directions are gonna be written on your pieces. Um, some of these things like the little cut tiny triangle pieces are darts, which you'll like stitch together, which you'll see later. Um, if you noticed, I was using Sharpie on a lot of the felt. Uh, you'll start to realize very quickly, uh, don't do that. Don't use Sharpie. Oh my gosh. Please don't use Sharpie. Wow. Please don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For details, you might have to get a little creative. Um, for my hair, uh, I had to create my own shapes. And then I realized it's backwards, so then I had to do it like a million bajillion times. And then for the ears, it was never big enough. It was never big enough. It was like bigger, 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 bigger. You know, just like my models, everything seems to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know where. <laughs> um, I had the clothes. I had to try and emulate what I could see and figure out. And it's like, I know how clothes work, but on such a tiny scale. Um, I'd recommend using transfer papers for any type of fabric. Um, I did not have that. I wish I did. And then for the stitching, okay. Most guides will have you start with embroidering your face. Um, if you don't feel comfortable embroidering, there are so many other options uh, and I definitely did not feel comfortable embroidering. <laughs> you can follow a guide for how to do those exact stitches. Uh, you'll need the proper fabric backing, which is also incredibly hard to find like special embroidery backing. Um, you can find a local embroidery store near you uh, that can then bring your own PES file to be embroidered by their machines, which is what I did, except you'll figure out, oh, missed that one as well. <laughs> Some DIY videos replaced the embroidery with felt and then just stitched it all on, um, which definitely looked the part from far away if you like squinted and leaned your head a little bit. But not so much when you got up on it, and they were very afraid to zoom in on it, because they knew to. <laughs> um, and there's also the option to heat transfer vinyl as well, uh, which you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner. That is actually a heat transferred vinyl. Uh, the guy went to then 
you transfer his colors, and it looked, uh, once again, good, far away while squinting. Uh, but for the sake of time and to ensure the quality, I brought mine to the local embroidery store. You look this. <laughs> Now, putting things together, this is where it becomes a little tedious and you really have to follow your instructions, which means, you know, you actually do have to read, I know, who, um, but it is really clear. Uh, the guy that I had here placed on the left was pretty thorough in explaining where all the sides are gonna be placed. Um, for making the fabric right out after being sewn together, I'd recommend a soft spool of some sort. I use the back of a Sharpie to like push everything back out you could use anything as just like long as it's soft, not forceful, because even with a sewing machine, stitches can come unattached. Um, stuffing things is crazy. I have like a FUMO that I completely deconstructed on my stream a while back that I'm like referencing of like how stuffy you fucker need to be. Really, really, really stuffed. I think I actually ended up going through like in half a bag of the small polyfill. So it's quite full of stuffing. <laughs> but uh, the hand stitching stuff ends up being a lot more than you think it would be. There's parts where it's like, there's just no way you could use a machine like the feet and sometimes even like the arms parts. And then even for the ladder stitching on the back of the head and the back, you're gonna need to use your hands for that. So just be prepared that it is a very much a hands-on DIY. So the assembly, uh, it takes a lot of patience. Uh, you don't want to rip anything. You had just spent all these hours trying to make it work out. So you really, really don't want anything falling apart on you halfway through. Um, and I wanted things to look perfect. They look, uh, you know, a as perfect as I could get it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, face stuff, have a stitching. Oh gosh. <laughs> But uh, here's the overalls of just trying to get it as like accurate as possible to the model you see on the screen and trying it on and realizing that uh, the butt of a FUMO is actually really interesting. They have a really long like trapezoid butt. <laughs> so it's like super weird trying to get that over the top of literally anything and getting it properly stuffed as well. So it's, it's, it's interesting. You have uh, basically square yams, which is really uh, but hey, <laughs> there could be worse. And there's, yep, there it is. <laughs> so I had traced out the face on the felt in Sharpie when I sent it to my embroiderer. Didn't really think about it. And then it printed uh, slightly, ever so slightly off. So, you know, if you see a lopsided Senna, um, no, you don't. She's perfect. She's beautiful. Uh, please turn a blind eye. I, I beg of you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> and it is, yeah, I think altogether this took about, oh, shoot, probably like 16 hours altogether to make it all happen. So it, it's a rather, like, simple, straightforward DIY. I mean, a model takes, like, a full solid week of work. So this is pretty straightforward, I would say. Um, I know a few people have done these in like literally the span of six hours. Uh, <laughs> more power to them, <laughs> but uh, not me. So <laughs> I even got the paper clip and for the hair clip. So as accurate as well. <laughs> and then now you have a FUMO. There it is. Slightly lopsided, but it's there. Oh my God, it's there. I'm real, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh and uh yeah as you can see the little tukis in the back that is a really yeah that's it's strange it's strange it's so weird to put clothes on it and not have hair covering it I feel like so many fumos have hair covering it and I'm like god I wish I had hair covering it <laughs> but maybe maybe I guess I could add a tail at some point <laughs> who knows but yeah there we go and I guess this is going to open it up to question time. Oh, I didn't expect to speed run it so quick. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm extremely nervous.
Hi, Senna, uh, big fan. Uh, I just wanted to ask, what would you say that your favorite DIY project you've done would be? My favorite DIY project? Well, oh besides God. the FUMO. What was that last bit? Besides the FUMO. Oh, besides the FUMO? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I like anything that I've done in wood shop probably the most just because I like the smell of wood. <laughs> That, yeah, I get but that, just yeah. making like a like a collapsible table was really fun. Just figuring out all the mechanics mechanics for it. So oh, yeah, probably good. that. Oh, cool. thank you. That's that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Senna. Hi, uh, Sheena. When you. <laughs> Uh, when, when you said to not do permanent markers, me made me think uh, this right here is uh, made of minky fabric that my sister suggested. And when I got the instructions for it, I immediately showed her and was like, this doesn't sound right because they said in the instructions, oh yeah, use permanent marker and then toss it in the dryer after you cut it. That, that, that'll definitely work really well. And that just, <laughs> it just immediately made me think of that. I just want to mention that yeah. with the marker. It's like, oh. <laughs> The permanent marker stuff, I thought, like, I wish I had just gotten, like, a, an erasable fabric or something. I just, like, I was, like, rushing, rushing, rushing. I'm like, I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, like, I'm just such a procrastinator, uh, admittedly. <laughs> and so I was just like, okay, it's time. I need to. And then it was like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. And then I'm, like, sitting there, like, rubbing it with, like, nail polish remover and nothing's happening. And I'm like... Okay, all right, all right. I'm just lopsided now, and that's okay. I'm lopsided Senna forever and always now. <laughs> yeah, it was so helpful for this that, like, my sister, she does more of this stuff, so I, she helped a lot. What was that? Uh, my, my sister does, like, more of this stuff, so she helped a lot with helping get everything together yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it, is it all felt then, or...? Uh, the hair here mm -hmm. is uh, minky fabric, mm -hmm. and then it's just an XXXL hoodie. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, it looks great. I recognize the collab immediately. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Hi. I Hi. think this is my first time ever seeing you as a VTuber, so you made a very amazing presentation. Oh, but thank my you. question is, is that uh, with fabrics, have you ever done ones where you made them yourself like tie dyes and stuff like that in your projects i've done tie dyes i had like an entire tie dye phase in high school it was kind of cringe but like fun to do um i've done a lot of tie dyes uh but nothing with like super intricate patterns but there is this one guy who i've seen on my feet a couple times who does like these super like dichydron or i don't even know the shape it's like so many shapes in it and then he can do like Bart Simpson and everything in it. It's amazing. I wish I could get to that level, but yeah, I've done tie dye. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's very fun. cool. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Hi, Senna. Hi. <laughs> oh. um, I wanted to ask uh, for making other plush projects, for example, like ears for a hat, uh, like if you were going to make your own, have you? on anything like that would it be the same process well i'm sorry do you mind repeating that i can oh. barely hear you i'm sorry. sorry uh let me stand on my tippy toes i'm short <laughs> <laughs> it's okay uh, short king come on <laughs> oh, thank you um for making ears for a hat out of plush like mm -hmm. your own um have you done that and would it be the same process as i would say the process is similar of just like cutting out the semicircles and then deciding it like just uh ugly side to ugly side and then turning it right side out and then stuffing them and attaching it to whatever you want it to be attached to okay um, great. a hat or a headband whichever you prefer some people do attach them to like hair clips that you can just clip right on to your hair which is also kind of nice too okay so, great yeah um i also wanted to quickly add for uh i've been learning embroidery so if you need to find the like specialty backing sheets uh you said you went to joanne they have large rolls that you can do they really oh my gosh i looked around. everywhere i'm like in such a small town that i'm like where is everything oh my god and, um, <laughs> for the sharpie i found water soluble pens that just wash out is really helpful yes too. Uh, yeah i should have i really flubbed it but hey <laughs> thank you thank you yeah Oh, hi, Sin, a big fan. Oh, my God, get him out of here. <laughs> boo, boo. <laughs> How did you originally get into DIY? How did I originally get into DIY? Uh, being poor. <laughs> 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 I feel like.
feel like a lot of people don't get into DIY unless they kind of have to. <laughs> So, uh, you know, just making things for my brothers all the time growing up and then realizing, hey, I'm kind of good at this and I kind of like it. So just like that, just being poor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It was a good presentation. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, Stinky. <laughs> hey, son, great work on the Fumo. Uh, any recommendations for tops or brands of sewing machines or just the cheapest you can get? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> oh, so you got uh, any recommendations or top a brand of sewing machine or just whatever works? Um, I know that people recommend Singer, but they've not been as reliable lately. Um, I used a, a brother, I believe, uh, but that's just whatever. I used something that was computerized so it would be quieter. Um, and that is what I recommend, is just finding something computerized that has a lot of different stitches that you can use, so you can use it for as many projects as you like. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem, thank you. Hi, Senna. Hi. Um, I want to know if you, have you ever done uh, chain mail weaving before? Have I ever done a what? Chain mail weaving. It's like, um, I guess um, maybe it's um, it's more a related to jewelry, but it's a like chain weaving. mail. Ch yeah, chain mail weaving. Like chain link or yeah, chain link. <laughs> like making like 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 armor stuff like chain links. Yeah, or oh my gosh, or no, I haven't, but it would be super cool. I'd love to like maybe even try to rig something for my model of like a knight armor with like all the moving parts that'd be super cool but like making chain link stuff or chain mail stuff i don't know it's so small and tedious there's so much like <laughs> respect in the people who can get it all done it's crazy thank you yeah thank you hey Santa, how's it going hi so that was an awesome FUMO that you made. It looked really, really cute. Awesome presentation. Oh, thank you. The question I have is, uh, do you have any dream DIY projects that you'd like to do on stream? A dream DIY project that I want to yeah. do on stream? Yeah. My dream DIY project is to make something from, um, oh my goodness, no, I'm forgetting the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, something from, um, Home Improvement, I think. Oh, God. Is it oh. Home Improvement? Oh, my God. Am I going to hear it right? Ta ta Tim Allen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> yes, yes. Tool time. I want to make something from that. I want to yeah. make one of their, like, cool projects from that, like, in the back and, like, get it super big in my garage and that'd and break awesome. it on the stream because I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> you should do that sometime. That'd be yeah. really cool. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right, cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. Hi, Santa. Um, hi. Hi. As someone, so as someone with like virtually no experience actually so, like sewing anything or such, like like sewing patterns or anything, um, what like would you say this is a project that like the Fumo project is something that like you should possibly like build experience like with other things first before you? No, tackle not this, at or? all. It was very beginner friendly. Um, I would say just get like. Um, like a practice square of fabric just to like run it through and get the the feeling of um of running the fabric through the sewing machine and just kind of feeling what that feels like and understanding how to keep that fabric laying straight that's really what it's all about with a sewing machine and then for hand stitching um it's so much easier than you think it's going to be it's honestly like tying your shoes where you just back and forth and back and forth and then pull it tight. <laughs> I've worn slip-ons for like 20 years yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I mean, I am by no means a seamstress. Uh, my DIY kind of stuff is more towards like crocheting and woodworking. So uh, yeah, I, I, I would recommend it actually. Yeah, it was pretty fun to learn how to use the sewing machine and now I can use it to make whatever the heck I want. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hello. Hello. Um, so I know you have a lot of models. So how <laughs> many other, how many more Fumos are you gonna make? A lot. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. I like, I'm like, 
I feel like with every DIY project I take on, I get like super mega addicted for a little bit and then I get super burnt out afterwards. Um, so I plan to make an update and then I'll probably make a bunch for friends and then I'll be like, okay, I hate this, bye. Uh, so yeah, a lot. <laughs> well, good luck. Yeah, thank thanks. You. <laughs> thank you. Oh, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing quite well myself. I'd, I need to commendate the craftsmanship on your Fumo. It's quite nice. I'm sure everybody here can agree on this, but <laughs> I think they'll agree even more when I say I feel like there was something missing. Oh, God, what? A marketable Fumo booth. Uh -oh. Marijuana, if you will. Oh, my gosh. Do we agree? Marketable Fumo <laughs> booth edition. <laughs> Miss Anna, when, would, when can we expect a release date for this Fumo weed? I'm not sure. I mean, I have pictures of it in the autistic project hat, but I wasn't sure if that was appropriate to put on. So <laughs> but I can share it in the Discord if you want. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. I'm, we would all love to see the Fumo weed. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'll roll a boob right for her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. Yes, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Senna. Hi. Uh, huge fan. Um, thank you very much for the presentation. It was yeah, great. Yeah, I love your bralame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was just wondering if you had any plans to sell any of your own DIY merch. I am. Like I will be going live with my merch online. Probably sometime after this weekend, I just have to finish up one last hoodie design. But yeah, I'm trying to have some, uh, some, you know, hush hush apparel that you know you can kind of just wear wherever you want, and people aren't gonna go, oh, you're like one of those weeds. Like, what's going on? <laughs> so you know, like some nice stealth merch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it should be going live very soon. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Great job. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Senna, big fan. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah. Have you ever worked with plastic mold before? Have I ever worked with what? Uh, plastic mold. A plastic mold? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, uh, have you ever considered making a DIY Funko Pops? <laughs> Look, I got um, both of them right here. Do you know where you're at right now? <laughs> do, do, you, do you happen to know where you're at right now? <laughs> um, maybe like a Ninjaroid, but uh, definitely not a Funko. Uh, you know, that's, uh, that's okay. <laughs> bye, yeah, bye, bye. You know, what's, what's great about Ninjaroids <laughs> is you can buy the bodies pre-made and just do the face. True. But anyway, Ooh, true. so um, one of the biggest differentiators between Fumos, obviously, is the clothing. Is there anything specifically you've discovered regarding designing that, or the resources? Um, could you repeat that? Uh, Fumo clothing. Are there any particular, uh, is there anything about the designing that, that you've learned? Um, Fumo clothing, I don't know. For me, it was just like, I know the way that overalls work. It's just like, you know, panel, panel, here we go. Um, for the legs, it was really easy because I just retraced um, the leg pattern just slightly bigger so it could go over. Um, but for like actual clothing, I do know that sometimes they make patterns for things like shirts and uh, dresses. So it kind of just depends what you're looking for. Is that what you're looking for? I don't, okay. Thank <laughs> I'm you very so much. sorry. Yes, thank you. What's up, girl? I heard you like skeletons. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. Not in front of Celestia. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi. Hey. <laughs> so, you gonna make any of this Irons gear or something for yourself? Um, I, I don't know. I'm just like eating with my eyes right now. Um, <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the drip. Thank you so much for um, showing off for me. All for me. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, take care, Senna. Thank you. Senna, um, I do crochet, and mm -hmm. I was wondering if you had any tips about stuffing, because I feel like I always understuff or overstuff. Um, I feel like taking the time to, like, squeeze in between, so, like, um, 
I like making like little plushes sometimes with crochet as well. And just taking that time to like really give it a good squeeze and figure out if you like how plush it is. I mean, think about like going to Build-A-Bear <laughs> um, and how they will give you the doll back and you give it a squeeze to let them know if it's full enough. So kind of like that. Um, that's what I did for the FUMO. Every time I would just like take a second to squeeze. So, you know, anytime you saw a clip of me squeezing her, I wasn't just strangling myself. I was also trying <laughs> to check <laughs> if it was full enough. So I would just say the squeeze test worked pretty well. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hey, uh, Senna, so given everything you've said here tonight and everything that's been going on, I just wanted to know, and it's been bugging me for a while, would you still love your chat if they were worms? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I prefer okay. if they're bears, but okay. yeah, uh, I love them if they're worms. Absolutely. Bear worms? How, like, what's the slider on that? Oh, well, I feel like bear worms sounds like, like I don't know, some sort of like tapeworm, which makes okay. me kind of worried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Thank, yeah. you very, thank you very much. <laughs> I'd, I'd still love them, I guess. Okay. I guess. <laughs> if you had to. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I just have a question about uh, what's it called pricing and such. With all the materials and stuff that you get, and I, I'm pretty sure that selling them is something that you'd like to, um, that, you know, that you want, like, that you do. <laughs> I was just wondering. What do you think uh, is a good, like, asking price to, like, sell, like, um, you know, well, customs are probably going to be, like, in the hundreds, but how about, like, if you, like, streamlined, like, you know, making multiple copies of but that's, that's just why I was just wondering, like, like, a money question about selling. What well, do you think? I think excluding the cost of having to buy a sewing machine, it was such a, like, a low price that I feel like I, I wouldn't want to jip anyone, you know what I mean? Like, you got to have a little bit of overhead, but I'm not trying to, like, steal or rob anybody um no. definitely under 100 i would say uh just because you know i would like to think that i would be able to purchase my own things so therefore i'd want my chat to be able to purchase it i can't purchase a hundred dollar plushes no i so totally like, agree with you on that because mm. like you know i feel like um if you you know do it out of love or stuff like that you mm. know just making sure that the people can afford it is also a thing that's yeah i think like you know if there's people who are working on the project and making sure that everyone gets their cut but like you know i don't need a big takeaway to make sure that people get what they want uh even with my merch launch it's going to be very very inexpensive so that way people can get what they want i i don't care about the profit i just want to see people wearing my stuff like that's such a honor so <laughs> that i feel that's so commendable thank you so much thank you're you you're a real one <laughs> thank you <laughs> Really? No more? Oh my gosh, you guys are chickens. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, hi. Who is that? Oh my god, I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, uh, this is my first time seeing you. Uh, yeah, I really liked what you did. <laughs> Shut uh, up. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> don't Big act man. brand new. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, probably an ignorant question because I've you know, never done any sort of embroidery or any sort of uh, sewing, anything like that. But mm -hmm. I am curious, I fixated for whatever reason, like on the eyes, and you're talking about how like, you know, that was like so much work that you decided just to, you know, uh, contract that out to somebody else. Um, yeah. So like, if you know you were stubborn about like wanting to make sure you can do every single part yourself, like how much does that increase the difficulty of like, because you know, you said it's a relatively simple process, like um, if you want to add in that part, does that kind of like jump it up on the difficulty meter? It definitely like, increases it quite a bit. The stitching is very like, it's like, well, you're an artist. You understand how like, you know, cross hatching works. Yeah. Imagine cross hatching with a, with a needle that and a very visible. tiny close proximity over and over and over and over and over. Sounds to make like arthritis, it yeah. Super, super tight and perfect. And then also making sure that both eyes are twins and not, you know, cousins or sisters. <laughs> True. So, yeah, uh, I would say it, it definitely raises the difficulty level. Um, I would also say, you know, a lot of places, local places, I like to keep things local. Um, they 
do charge like by the yard so for any sort of embroidery project so you could like streamline like six different funnels like say you want to make the entirety of like an entire generation of vtubers that you love you can go and do that and get all the faces printed all at once on the same skein of fabric and it would be like ten dollars so pretty oh, cool okay, I was about to ask usually about cheaper than that even so yeah it just depends ten dollars around about probably depends yeah, like, uh, I don't know, for me, it was 10 but, like, I know I should have went with a cheaper place. It probably would have been, like, 3 So, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> no, not that much of a hurdle, not that much of an ask to just go and get embroidered by other people. Yeah, you can just go and get stuff, like, kind of ordered in bulk. Uh, embroidery shops are pretty easy to work with. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's all for me. See you, nerd. Okay, bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, what's the biggest FUMO you've ever made? The biggest what? FUMO. <laughs> this is the first FUMO I've made, actually. <laughs> uh, if you couldn't tell, I mean, uh, like, like that's awesome. But this is actually the first FUMO I've ever made. Uh, and this is technically the biggest. It's not exactly size accurate. It's like a little scaled up just for the sake of like being easier to sew. But uh, yeah. This is the biggest, technically. <laughs> have you made uh, larger plushies before? Um, I have crocheted really large plushies. I made like a giant giraffe one time for uh, a friend's baby shower <laughs> because it was all giraffe themed, but uh, that's about it, yeah. Ah, <laughs> so if you were to make a giant Fumo, who would you make it of or what? Uh, Momosuzu and I would make it of Nene, Nenechi. <laughs> so, you know, I love bears. <laughs> if you have any Thank time. you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hello, Sena. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Thank uh, you. So for the cutouts, uh, for the like Cecil cutouts, mm -hmm. like it seems like it's something that could be like really useful to use a laser cutter for, to like make the like uh, patterns out of acrylic, and then you could just reuse them. Have you ever considered using like a three D printer or? A laser cutter as like reference material. So I do have a 3D printer, but uh, getting the filament is a little pricey sometimes, uh, especially getting all the different colors. Um, but I mean, it's definitely something to keep in mind. You can always get so many things. It's it's amazing all the things you can print, all the things you can print. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it could work. It could work pretty well. I don't see why not. Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh. thank you. Senna. I've Hello. got a little project myself about um, upholstering a chair and sewing machine and stuff like that. How hard was that for you to learn in a little bit more detail? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, um, I'm prone to just like having full on fits about things when they don't work out the first time. I'm a big crybaby, so like the first time it went through, I was like, no! I was just, like crying and screaming, like hitting my table, and then I was like, "Okay, time to redo it." Uh, <laughs> so there was like a couple of you know mismatched shapes, and I redid the ears probably ooh, like maybe ten times. <laughs> and sewing in a circle, wow, I hate that. Wow. <laughs> so it made me appreciate anything that seamstresses do, because wow. <laughs> yeah, I. I I think my project might be a little bit more straight lines than that, so it might yeah. be more achievable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Senna. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, I like questions. Mm -hmm. I have a bear question for you. Okay. So, do you prefer your honey alone? Like, you just grab handfuls of it, knead it like that, or do you pair it with something? I like to think I'm like one of those peanut butter bears that just like goes up to the huge pile of peanut butter left in the woods, um, the trail cans, you know, the ones, and just goes and just chows down. But for honey, yeah, I probably will just like fist, fist in hand. <laughs> Very just cool. Ram, ram, ram. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Santa. I'm sorry. Uh, Hello. Uh, uh, good question. I am a novice at textile arts uh do you have any 
for learning. What is your preferred? Do you have a channel? Like anybody that you, know, you learn a lot from, or is there website books? And you know, what would you recommend for a beginner for, like, say, making custom uh, clothes, you know, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to go the Puma route, but anything for like, any? Um, what would you recommend? For um, beginner. I find that Etsy has a lot of like uh, vintage like patterns that you can pick through, which is really helpful because I feel like a lot of vintage patterns are a lot more straightforward than, say, newer patterns. So that's good for like just sewing projects in general. As for textiles, I'm not too familiar with textiles, um, but I know that like creating all of your own prints for it is pretty thorough and really fun to do. Like trying to remember back to college days. It wasn't that long ago, but I'm trying to remember. Um, <laughs> uh, just like kind of like, I feel like it's like printmaking, just like overlaying and overlaying and overlaying. Sometimes it's just like allowing things to be open to your pattern, but yeah, I don't know. Just for patterns for sewing, I would definitely say like Etsy is a is a safe bet um, for that or eBay. Also, what's your favorite cinnamon pastry? What's my what? Favorite cinnamon base, uh, pastry. Like my favorite cinnamon pastry. Ooh. Um, I like apple cider like cinnamon donuts. Those are really good. They have them in the fall all the way in the Northeast, and it's great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Santa. Hey. Destroyed my trip. Uh, hey, you got any interest in leather working? Any interest in leatherworking? Absolutely. Um, it's it's kind of hard to work with because it's so thick. But I would I would love to like make a leather bound book. Even that'd be really fun. Like I got some leather projects I need to get to, but I could use some inspiration for some creative design. Mhm. Mm I would like to like try and figure how to do that, and then like um like burning like uh images onto it or like trying to like draw my own little swirlies <laughs> that would be really fun to do so yeah i think i would be interested yeah hey, you get a stream in the future oh uh, yeah i mean hey if it's diy and it seems simple enough i will try it at least once and you know if i cry i, I cry <laughs> <laughs> thank you senna yeah thank you Howdy. Excellent Hi. presentation. You Thank know, you. Knocked out of the park. I just wanted to show off this dork. Yeah, I <laughs> love it. I I love the hat. What does it say? What does it say? It Is it the fish fear me? <laughs> Woman fear me. Fish fear me. Mm -hmm. Men turn their eyes away from me mm -hmm. as I walk. No beast dare lay its hands on my coat. I am alone on this barren earth. <laughs> I am alone on this barren earth. Me too. <laughs> All right. You have a great one. Yes, you as well. Thank you. Hey, Senna. Hi. I was uh, just wondering if you specifically have, woodworking-wise, a favorite wood to work with or, like, integrate into your project. For favorite wood? Um, I like working with maple. Uh, yeah. I mean, the I have farms near me that have, like, just tons and tons and tons and tons of maple trees and they're always cutting stuff down for firewood i'm like hey you saved me a plank <laughs> so yeah i like working with maple it's easy to source and usually free for me but yeah cool thank you yeah thank you uh, i just had a question about like uh, materials to use for frills to keep it and mm -hmm. in uh, addition to that like a uh, layered clothing how would you go about doing that so for like layered clothing, I mean, for the overalls, I used something that was more like a linen material. Um, I think just like trying to think about and emulate like real life clothing um, for frills. I'm thinking like like a light polyester or even some sort of light chiffon, just something light that flows well, mm -hmm. especially I want it to be kind of flouncy and bouncy. So something like that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Oh. Hello there, Bear. Oh, hi. <laughs> so, hi. So I got a simple question. Mm. If you were to do a 2.0 of the FUMO, what would you do differently now that you've had the experience one? 
Well, uh, for those of you who are fans and know me, I have like a million bajillion toggles, so I would probably do something like a different outfit and different hair. Um, I definitely would not be using Sharpie. Haha. <laughs> uh, I think I think I would want to get more things embroidered or just like kind of a little more sturdy, because I feel like this one's pretty fragile. Like I can't just like throw it across the room and I feel like that's kind of the whole goal is to chuck her once you're done with it and I can't really chuck her without like worrying about her head popping off so yeah I mean I would still chuck her anyways but then it would be like so <laughs> probably uh, it does seem pretty beatable <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well that would be all <laughs> thank you hey bear hey a uh, long time fan first time watcher <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just want to ask if uh, there's anything that you made looking back that you physically cringe on. Oh, um, all of it. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a VTuber. What are you talking about? Anything uh, specific? Everything. Um, I don't know. I cringe at a lot of my collabs where I'm like, oh, my God, did I annoy this person? Oh, my God, I'm so insufferable. But, you know, then they're like, oh, my God, I love you. And I'm like why <laughs> anything like so. diy specific diy specific like oh. uh physical work that you've made that you look back and just Ugh. uh let me think let me think all the work that i've done oh <laughs> i've been working on the same stupid cat <laughs> cabinet for like two years now and i keep going back to it and like i had originally started it as like have like all of this filament on it and like this hand painted like super cool snake on the top and like florals and every time I go back to it I'm like god this is so ugly why why <laughs> am I coming back to this and I just want to chuck it at the end of the driveway and then I'm like no one's going to pick this up I am so embarrassed <laughs> I like I don't even know where to put it and it's just there in my garage probably mildewing as we speak oh, so no. <laughs> well I <laughs> hope you that. figure it out <laughs> yeah <laughs> take care thank you So nice to finally be able to ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. First time I'm ever seeing you up here. It is so delightful. So, you've done you've done a lot of DIY, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so when it comes to repairs, you know a lot about that, right? Depends. <laughs> if I have a fumo and the head has just popped off because I've thrown it across the room, what is the easiest way to repair it? Um. Uh, I would probably just safety pin it back together and be like, oh well, um, but. <laughs> Okay, okay. But I, was just I, if you I would feel like, like you could probably do an actual stitch and, you know, suck it up over the canal. You have multiple stitches, but, you know. Would it be too much work to give it a neck brace for some support for while it heals? Uh, like, uh, like put a cast on it? Yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be kind of funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh no, she has a broken arm. She's sick. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I think we could do that. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I just wanted to make sure. And again, it is so great to see you for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. You are yeah. delightful. I'm yeah, looking forward to seeing your first ever stream. Oh, my God. Go goodbye. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> am I saying goodbye now? Am I, like, am I losing the emotion? Am I dying now? Is this the end for me? Am I leaving? Am I done? Are we done? Death, 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 death,